Hey guys, Mike here and I've got the girls here with me and today we are going to look at a game called A Dog's Life. A Dog's Life is a pretty neat game and it's got, uh, comes with five dogs in it and they're already pre-painted little miniatures there and you basically simulate a dog's life where you can run around and you can pick up newspapers, pick up bones, rummage through the trash, pee on lampposts, do all the fun things that and you... And drink out of... Fountains. Yeah, you can do that too. All the fun things that you could do if you want to be a dog. And these two, I think, are going to love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it down to the table and we're going to take a look at it and then we'll come back and we'll tell you what we think about a dog's life. So in a dog's life, you have the board and everybody chooses a miniature dog to play and they get a player board that matches that dog. There you've got your mouth space, the tr food track, your bladder. You also have a hideout, which is a card that's given out randomly. And then the deck of cards that are basically the outputs of the action. So as you do an action, you flip over a card and you just do whatever the card says for the action that you performed. On your turn, you can use your action points to move. You can use your action points to, to go to buildings, to bag, to go to trash cans, to, to loot. Or you could split it up however you want. You can move a little bit, stop at a restaurant, and then you can even just then go ahead and just move some more. So just use up all your action points. The other thing you can do is you can take your miniature and you can go to the newsstand in the center where you can get a newspaper that has a number on it and that number then you can go deliver it to another building uh, to get points. What you can also do is you can go to a lamp post and on that lamp post you can actually pee on it. And when you do that, other players can't pass through that space without having to stop and lose a turn, so it's a nice strategic thing. At the end of your turn, you roll a die and then you move the dog catcher. If the dog catcher appears adjacent or on your square, then you have the opportunity to send the player to the dog shelter for a number of turns. This is actually a really great game. It's a really quick game to play with the kids. The first one to actually take three bones back to their home base they win the game. So you're always just out there looking for bones in the trash, looking them at restaurants, and all the meantime managing your food. Now this game goes back up to Kickstarter, I believe on August the 8th. So definitely check it out. If you have kids, it's a great pickup and delivery game. So let's go back up top and see what we think about it. Okay guys, well that was a dog's life. Um, we actually played it, we've played it twice, and we've had a great time playing it. Erica, what did you think about a dog's life? What do you like? the dogs are painted and um, that you can pick up bones and just and like take them back to your little hideout right yeah and that is cool it's really neat to have a pick up and delivery game for kids uh, it's a mechanic that you know when we get into some of the adult games like Merchant of Venus and stuff like that where uh, pick the up and deliver Star Wars no, we don't have a Star Wars pickup and delivery game. Oh. Um, so anything, you know, you have some of the uh, older pickup and delivery games. Uh, it's kind of nice to start, start this mechanic off in a really fun way. Uh, what did you like, Ariana? What did you like about it? I like how um, you could... The newspapers. How you could um, deliver the newspapers. Right. And how you can put people in jail by the dog catcher. Right. And that is that is pretty fun. The dog catcher mechanic is pretty neat. So it, it's a nice kind of take that mechanic, but it's not, too, it's not too detrimental. I mean, it's not one of those things where you've got to sit in there forever. And if you can't get out, uh, it's really going to, you know, people don't get upset about it because it's only one to three turns and we've never we've played it a couple times now and we've never actually gone the whole way to where you can't actually get out of the dog what? the dog Why shelter the dog shelter um with that you know in, in in all three turns we've done it really fast so that's been pretty nice that is a neat mechanic it's got a small amount of conflict in it you can fight but again even then the worst thing that happens is you lose the rest of your turn so um, it, it's it's a game that teaches some really fun mechanics, and we have a good time playing it. I mean, we had a lot of fun playing, didn't we? Yeah. yeah I mean, you guys really had a good time. It's fun to be a dog. I won. You did win again. Twice, right? And it's fun to you know again. It, it it's kind of a new new mechanic uh, to where where you know it's kind of fun when you get to copy on a lamp post to be able to block your opponents. And again, the blocking only delays them for like what one turn, I think, right? Yeah, or like a few. Yeah, I think it's just one turn because you stop and you sniff around and stuff that turn, and then you can actually. And if go they're the then. one beside it, then you would have to go to the next one, and then. Right. Yeah. So so there's a couple times it's interesting you can actually put blocks up. And you could even do it by a restaurant. Right. Like the sub 
subway. Right. You can even do it by the restaurant. And which if, if you do it by the restaurant, then, then only, no one, only you could go there. Right. And your own place. And I got the subway for a few bit of time. Right. So, so it's kind of not, you know, very strategically you can use that. So, so we had a great time playing it. It's a really fun game. The game's for six years old and, and, and older. Um, so that was great. Uh, it's a really fun game. We had a lot of fun playing it. I hope you guys like it. Check out, we did a live play of it. You can check that out on the channel as well. And uh, guys, I highly recommend if you've got kids, a dog's life. All right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.